This is Northwest Public Broadcasting's Weekly News Now. I'm Tracy Dial. Thanks so much for joining us. A little boy is safe after a harrowing 24 hours following two murders and the one year old's kidnapping on Monday. West Richland police are still investigating after they say a 39 year old man, a former Yakima police officer, killed his ex wife, Amber Rodriguez, and his teen girlfriend, Angelica Santos, and took off with the child. Police say Elias Wiesar shot and killed Rodriguez outside of William Wiley Elementary School in West Richland on Monday. Police then discovered the body of Santos at Wiesar's home nearby. We are so in terms of a specific timeline in terms of which victim was killed first. Uh, I can't provide additional information about that this morning. That's Benton County Prosecutor Eric Isinker speaking at a press conference on Wednesday. The crimes set off an Amber Alert and a nearly full day manhunt for Huisar and the boy Santos and Huisar's toddler. Oregon State Police found Huisar Tuesday afternoon in the Eugene area and a police chase started. Investigators say Huisar shot at police before turning the gun on himself. He died by suicide. The little boy was not hurt. Huisar has a criminal history, including pending child rape charges against him. One of those cases involved Santos. Huisar and Rodriguez also had two children. All three of those kids are now orphaned. The prosecutor says the children will need special care. West Richland's police chief saying he hopes the ending of the manhunt can be a catalyst for healing for the whole community. More information on this case, including a timeline from the Richland School District, where we saw once worked as well, is on our website, nwpb.org. An application window is open for farm worker housing funding. The United States Department of Agriculture has $48 million earmarked for the development nationwide. For off-farm housing, funds could come as loans or grants. For on-farm housing, it would be loans. Applications for new construction projects are due in early July. You can find a link on our website. And head there to RSVP for the buzz if you're in the Tri-Cities region. Meet some of our news team and other NWPB staff on Saturday, May 11th in downtown Pasco. You can find more information on our Instagram and Facebook as well. I'm Tracy Dial with your NWPB Weekly News Now. Find this on our YouTube channel. Just search Northwest Public Broadcasting.